So I'm going to zoom back out to 100%. And at 100%, um, you'll see here's our picture. There's our two layers. I don't really want this layer, so I'm just going to make it invisible for now, but it really wouldn't matter. I'm going to say select all. I'm going to say edit copy, or you can do control C if you'd like. And then I'm going to go over to the Canada flag. And this is going to be our first really wonderful epic fail. So I'm going to say edit paste. And you'll see that this is absolutely 100% not what you were intending to see right now. And the reason for that is that Amber's face is only made up of red and white. And if you look up at the very top, you'll see this is the Canada flag file. There's a star there that says it's now being edited, which it's not really sure what to do. We've imported it into the GIMP. That means it's a different file type and it has indexed color. And currently it has two layers, but the indexed is the keyword. And so what the indexed means is that this is a, a GIF file and, that we've opened and it only has two possible colors in it, white and red. And because it only has two possible colors in it, when we've pasted, it, it was indexed. And when we've pasted Amber's face in, it's just said that you have the choice of white and red and any shade there in between. And so therefore Amber looks like this. So let's control Z that because this is obviously not what we wanted. And we need to change the images mode. So we're going to go up to image and change the mode. And you'll see here it says indexed and I want to change it to be RGB. And nothing has really changed except now up here it says RGB color. And if I choose edit paste or control V as you see over there, now when Amber's face comes in, it comes in as a regular face. We still have a floating selection pasted layer over here. So the first thing we want to do is create a new layer out of it. And you'll see it looks like that. The yellow and black line around is just the edge of the layer. If that's bothering you, it's not really a big deal at all. But if it's bothering you, certainly all you need to do is right click on this layer and choose layer to image size. And now that layer is the full image size. 